Hey guys, Sean French here and welcome back to my channel and today as you can tell by the title we have our December empties and there are, it seems quite full so I'm not sure how much is in here so there might be quite a bit so I'll try not to ramble too much at the beginning and it just get straight into it um, but yeah this is my December empties so I'm just going to grab in and just reach out anything that I can find and explain it to you because that'll be the easiest way. So the first thing I'm grabbing for is a red coral directions hair colour this is the colour that I use on my hair currently. Um, I've refreshed it a little bit for Christmas because it faded quite a bit. You might have noticed in previous videos. It does tend to, you know, these semi-permanent colours do tend to fade quite quickly, especially the more reddy sort of pinky tones. They do fade quite quickly. So you do have to sort of retouch it. But obviously these semi-permanent colours, they have like a conditioner in them as well. So it, it's not bad for your hair. It's, it's better than uh, some semi... It's better than some permanent dyes, that's all I can say. And ignore my phone. So that's the first one. The next thing I'm grabbing is this Lacora Vitamin C Hot Cloth Cleanser. I absolutely loved this. This was from Aldi. I forget how much I paid for it, but it lasted absolutely ages. I love the way it smelled. I love using it every morning. It was just such a nice product to use. I know they've got a little set of four in Aldi at the minute, and I might actually have to go and get it because one of one of these is in there, like a small small one. But I really loved that, and I would definitely use it again. Uh, next we have a Delhiscus natural skin food and this is a Hello Beautiful exfoliate and glow and it's like a black tea body scrub. Now when I first used this I got quite a lot of uses out of this. Um, there's a lot in this packet. Uh, I forget how many but there was a lot. I used it quite a lot and at first I didn't like it because I wasn't sure about the smell that it left when you're scrubbing your skin and I wasn't sure like whether it smelt nice um, but as I got out of the shower and out of the bath and it dried off and I was like it's not too bad a smell I think the essential oils in it are let me have a look does it tell you um, it just says black Assam tea a powerful antioxidant uh, it's essential oils rich in vitamin E to revitalize and leave skin and leave you smelling delicious sugar and salt buffs away dry skin sweet almond oil softens the skin and they donate 10 percent of their profits to help stop human trafficking ah i didn't know that but this is 100 percent natural and vegan and cruelty free um i'm not sure about it though i i felt very exfoliated it is quite a vigorous scrub you don't need a lot and you can feel it doing what it's supposed to do um, but I don't know whether I would use it again. It's a great idea, but it, I'm, it's very messy also. It's like obviously tea leaves, so it's quite messy. Um, but it did make my skin, it did make my skin feel really, really nice. Don't know whether I'd buy it again, but I got it out of glossy box. The next thing I have is this MD packet and this was from Bath Box and it had apple crumble bath salts in it and they smell amazing. The packet still smells like it. It is so good. They smelt really, really nice and they were lovely to use. Uh, next up is a Neutrogena Ageless Boot Boost, the Smart Smoother Hydrogel Recovery Mask. What a mouthful. This is like one of those gel masks and I think it came in two parts, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's what it says on the back. And it's supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles and make fin skin feel so uh, smoother and more youthful looking. So you knew I was going to use that because I need that. Um, but it was a really nice mask. I really liked how it felt. It's nice and cooling but not too cold. Um, and it really felt nice to use. And the fact that it was in two halves makes it easier to apply. So I would definitely buy one of those. I think this was a glossy box product. But I would definitely purchase one of those. Next we have a Treacle Moon uh, fizzy Prosecco Party. It's bath salts. This is probably one of my favourite scents from them. I loved it. I loved all the bath salts. These were from Aldi. They were 99p and for 99p that's an absolute bargain. I loved them. I loved them. You've probably seen them in a few empties. Then we have a Palmer's Coconut Oil uh, Deep condition Conditioning Protein Pack. So this is for like hair, hair conditioning treatment. 
and I got about two or three uses out of this because obviously I've got quite thin hair it made my hair feel amazing I do love the Palmer's range I don't know whether where you can buy like the shampoos and conditioners from I haven't seen them in like savers or anywhere like that maybe if I look in boots I may find them but I really love the Palmer's stuff and I would definitely buy that and that was from glossy box as well then we have this which has dregs of uh, conditioner in it and it's you've seen this before in my empties this is the banana conditioner um i don't actually use this i'm using something new which you'll probably see in empties when i run out of it um and it's like an all natural sort of shampoo and conditioner but um this was what my little girl tends to use and sometimes my husband and um she really likes it so yeah we keep that because it's really cheap and cheerful and it's got no parabens and things in it so yeah is it no parabens yeah no parabens and stuff so it's nice for the the kiddies hair then we have a beauty pro eye therapy under eye mask with collagen and green tea absolutely love these i got this from a glossy box i think i can't remember somebody may have sent it me or i may have won it i have no idea because I have so many like masks now it's unreal I don't know how to keep on top of them um, but this is really really nice to use they sit beautifully under the eye they do not slide off your face like some under eye masks do um, and you could probably put your makeup on whilst leaving these on your, your under eye if you did your eyes first like if you're going out somewhere so you're going to get like a nice deep puffed um, treatment while you're putting your eye makeup on I would definitely definitely buy these and then we have a Kat Von D locket. Uh, oh, I've got hair on my eyebrow, I can feel it. Right, <laughs> I can't get right. Bear with me, it's right across my forehead. There it is. Right, that's better. So then we have a Kat Von D locket uh, setting spray. My daughter brought me this, I think, two years ago, and I've only just finished it. Um, I was using it sparingly at first because I know it's not cheap. Um, the mist is really nice and fine. I did like it would I say it works better than any other setting spray that I've ever used not really I've used quite a few setting sprays and they kind of all do the sort of similar thing the only positive I would say about this is the mist is nice and fine um towards the end it got a little bit spluttery but I think that's just because it's so old but yeah I wouldn't buy it but it was really nice the, the mist was really nice I wouldn't say it did something amazing to my skin another hair product and it's the Garnier, Garnier Ultimate Blends Coconut Oil um, Hair Mask. My husband's been using this as well so we've gone through it a little bit quicker than I would normally because obviously I don't have very thick hair but it really feels nice on your hair, gives it a good conditioning treatment and I'm really trying really hard to take care of my hair at the minute. It's looking a little bit dry on the ends but nowhere near like it used to look. So yeah that was really nice, really enjoyed that. I think that was either $1.99 or 99p no, $1.99 maybe from Savers and it was really nice and I would definitely use that again. Next up we have a Water Infusions Pineapple and Lemon Zest Original Sauce. I love Original Sauce, it's so good. This one smelled really, really nice. You can see there's a little bit in the bottom still. Why is there always like a little bit left in the bottom? It's so zesty, it's really nice. If you like citrusy and fruity sort of smells, you will love this. And I think it was like a pound from either Savers or Home Bargains. None of that £2.50 lies that Glossy Box tell you. It is like 99p in most places, if you look around. <laughs> Next up we have another sheet mask and this is another Garnier and this is a Garnier Ultra Lift mask. This was really really nice as well. My skin literally sucked out all the serum on this. It really enjoyed it. Um, I would definitely buy this again. I forget how much it was but it's got grapeseed extract and hyaluronic acid and it's an anti-age smoothing firming radiance boosting mask. I loved it. I really enjoyed that one. Next up is a product that I hated. <laughs> absolutely hated this and I can smell it through the packaging I hated this so much um, this is a Zoella double creme body cream and it's supposed to smell like macaroons which is great which is, that's great but the more when I used it I, at first you get the hint of macaroon as you're rubbing it all over and I'm trying to get more into using the moisturizer thing that's a really loud car I'll have to excuse that um, and it sounds like it's pulling in the back uh yeah at first when you put it on you're like ah oh, that's quite a pleasant sort of vanilla-y sort of sweet scent which i'm okay with most of the time but the more i rubbed it in the more i felt like it smelled like really really fake and 
um, synthetic and I just did not like it. People that smelt it on me said it, it smelt nice but I just did not like it. I did not enjoy this at all. Would never, it, I would never tell anybody to buy it. It's, it wasn't like an amazing body cream. I just I just hated the smell and I'm usually good with smells like that but it just smelled really synthetic and fake and I did not like it. I got it from Home Bargains, I think it was like 99p, I wonder why. So that is that. Next up we have a Bloom and Blossom Anti Stretch Mark Cream which I got from Feel Unique Samples, I have no idea why because uh, these stretch marks are going nowhere at my age but I used it just for the sake of using it and it was quite a nice little moisturising uh, cream to put on your stomach area so it was quite nice. I can't remember whether it had a, a smell to it but it was. I can remember the feeling rubbing it in, it was very very moisturising. Next up we have a Peachy Fox, there's a lot of masks in this one I've noticed, a Peachy Fox London Dead Sea Mud Mask with a Jojoba, it's a deep pore cleansing mask. Now I got sent this a long time ago so I'm kind of a bit glad to get rid of it because I don't like keeping things like this especially when they're in pots for too long. It smells absolutely fine inside the pot, there's a little bit left, I didn't want to use it because it is out of date. Well, it will be because this has 12 months shelf life. Uh, so, but it was really nice. I did test it on in a video, I think. I did a review on it and my skin felt really, really good after using it, if I remember correctly. And I have used it since. Um, and it did, your skin feels like really, really, because um, it's like deep pore cleansing, it kind of almost feels like it was tightening on the skin. Um, and it was really, really nice. I did enjoy that. So that is that. Next we have, this is one I'm really sad about, it's the Polar Night Cream and this was sent to me by the sparkly princess Lynette who knew that I loved this and she said she had one and she sent me it in a goodie box and I've destroyed it, I've absolutely destroyed it, I've used it every single night since I, I got it and um, it is literally one of my favourite night creams, I love it, I love the smell, I love how it feels, it's just a beautiful night cream and I may have to think about purchasing it, like I may have to think about it because it is so nice. Why is that in there? Next up we have, I'll just pull all of them out because it's a bit of a mess in here because of these. Right, so we have a lot of little wrappers and little pots. Now, they smell friggin' amazing. They smell awesome. But basically, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I had the Bubble Bees Bath Bomb Advent Calendar. And what I decided to do in my wisdom was do a bath bomb demo every day that I got a bath bomb in the calendar. So if you go onto my Instagram and you look at my highlights, I've stored them all there so you can watch every day that I got one what the bath bombs were like. I absolutely love bubble bees. There was these two freebie pots inside the box when my advent calendar arrived and these are a few of just the packages just so I could purely tell you about them. Honestly guys, go and check her out. If I don't link her down below, go to my Instagram and check out her bath bombs because they're amazing. They are so good and she's such an amazing person. So yeah, that is those. I'm just gonna leave those there. So the next thing is a Revolution Quinoa Night Peel Serum. That's what it looks like. Now this was sent to me by Christina Collins in a little goodie box that she sent me um, and I have used it, I, yeah, I've literally used it all. Um, I think you're supposed to use it two or three times a, a week, I think, and maybe it's a little bit more. Um, I don't, I can't say I felt any different about my skin after using this. Um, I just purely don't like, um, I like to use up products, especially if you guys send me them. I like to try things out and see what they like. Would I say I feel like it did anything beneficial to my skin? Not really, not really, but um, I thought I'd use it up and give it a go. So yeah, I wouldn't buy it, but thank you Christina for sending me. Next up is another um, Feel Unique Samples. And this is a Lumine Invisible Illumination Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint. Now, I used most of this up in the summer and just finished it off recently. On the days that I don't wear makeup, I usually tend to put this on just so it gives you a little bit of something on your skin. Really, really nice. I don't think I would buy a full-size version of this because I wouldn't say that it 
it was like an amazing product that I felt I, I couldn't live without but it was really nice and it smells really nice as well so yeah for the summer it's really good though I, I will say that it's nice lightweight and you feel like you get a little bit of coverage because obviously there's that slight instant tint in there but yeah that was nice uh, we're down to the last three so the last of uh, last three this is the last three so the first one is a tresemme and this is obviously your heat protecting spray for when you uh, straighten or blow dry your hair I do tend to buy this when, once I run out I buy a new bottle I haven't bought any yet um, and this one was a Primark one I think it's only £1.40 and um, I think I was going away or something so I bought it in a smaller size bottle I can't really remember though so it was a while back um, but it is really good the Tresemme heat protecting spray is really good and I do like to try and protect my hair as much as I possibly can because obviously not only do I damage it with colouring but I straighten it as well so any help that it's going to get to protect it I'm going to use so I definitely will buy that again unless there's something that you guys know actually is there a heat protecting spray that you know that you really really love and it smells really nice and it, you feel like it gets gives you good protection when you use it on your hair let me know in the comments right this one's going to take me a while to explain so i will ex i'll give you this one this is a, a yves saint laurent um touche eclat foundation i'm going to blind you with this really gold box but you get the idea and it was quite a good sample i think i just applied for this on a sample sort of site thing um it is a five mil sample and i got quite a lot of uses out of this and i have to say I absolutely loved it I loved it to the to the point that I checked out the price online and it is not the cheapest it is not the cheapest um, I'm considering buying it uh, but at the same time it's quite pricey I can't remember whether it's 28 or 30 pounds or more something like that and that's quite a lot when I'm used to spending like 10 pounds sometimes less on my foundation um, but it was really really lovely on the skin honestly if you've got like more mature skin this sits on your skin so beautifully it's unreal which is why i may have to consider buying it at some point i did like it so yeah that's that one so the last one this one's hard to explain there's this bottle and there's another two bottles so to explain this is basically um gosh i don't know whether it was like a year ago or two years ago i saw lightning last doing a video on clicks research um, now clicks research is basically a a site you can sign up to um, and what you do is you go into it you fill in all the details or your details and then you ha have to fill in like a profiling uh, section and it's like not just beauty it's like household things it's like everything you could possibly think of you've got to kind of fill out this profile for so basically what they do is when they get products that need testing they if, they, if your uh, profile fits what they need or who they need to test it on then you will get an email and you can click to join the research and you can um, take part in it and try out products it's like blind products though because obviously it does it did have shampoo and conditioner on this now i've added my you can add your family members to it as well so i've added mini wench onto it haven't added my husband yet um but these were what mini wench got sent uh, to try out so she had a shampoo a conditioner and a body wash so it was fig shampoo fig conditioner and a raspberry body wash you don't find out who the company is that that is making the product until like after the research is done um I had one when was it a little while back I got to test out like a resurfacing skin mask um, and I really really liked it I've still got some left um, downstairs which I need to use up and I found out afterwards that it was a Marks and Spencer's one so there you go you, because it's like a blind trial you just try out the product and giving them your opinion on how you feel it worked and what you liked about it what you disliked about it and it's just like basically you're just trying out these products before they get put on the shelf um, and she really loved them the fig shampoo and conditioner I need to find out where this is going to be sold because it smelled really good and her hair looked super shiny and really really nice and the raspberry body wash body wash she enjoyed as well so and it did smell good so yeah that's clicks research if you do want to join clicks research and you would like the link let me know in the comments and if i don't pop it if i don't remember to pop it in the description bar i will pop it in the description bar once you remind me in the comments because i'm absolutely terrible at remembering things but it's called clicks research 
and you can just go and join it. You can just type it into your Google and you'll find it. It's really, really good. Um, you don't always get sent things. You don't, sometimes you feel like going to, to join a, a review, a review, a trial, and they say you're not eligible because of certain things like your skin tone or your, you know, your hair type. Because I filled one in for a hair type, a hair. They invited me to join a hair product testing and then they asked me what type of hair I had and I didn't have the right kind of hair. It wasn't coily enough, I don't think. So yeah, I didn't get accepted for that. But you do drop on sometimes and you get to try out a few products and it's, it's quite nice. It's like you don't know what you're going to get. It's really nice to try. So I'm not going to ramble on anymore. That was my last product. I hope you enjoyed this empties video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe to the channel and see what else there is to come. There will be more to come this year because this is obviously my December empties and you will be seeing this in the new year. So yeah, hope you had a great new year. I'm going to let you guys go though. I hope you have a great day, night, morning, evening, whatever it is you're doing when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one.